How did you come to work with Macy Gray? Remarkable women. We um, reached out to Macy. Um, Macy was showing interest in the NFT space, and we reached out. We told her about the Remarkable Women project. And, you know, if you are familiar with the project, um, a lot of projects I consider Eastern, they don't have African Americans represented. They don't have people from Hong Kong. They don't have people from India. Um, our collection does. Um, we have 15 different languages, Arabic, Latin, um, Spanish, American Sign Language. We knew there were underrepresented people that didn't have an NFT that looked like them. We have some NFTs in our collection that look like Macy. So we uh, we mentioned it to Macy. Um, she really fell in love with the Remarkable Women collection because they, they look like her. Um, you can relate to them. Um, she saw that there were women that she wanted to support. And then she came to our own event. We did an event in LA at Sunset at Fred Siegel. And we invited Macy, and to be honest, didn't think in a bat hell she was gonna show up. And she came with her whole team and her daughter who was an artist. Mm -hmm. So now Macy's all in love with the, with the project. But you know, when I talk about onboarding and support, Macy's daughter, daughter Anissa is an incredibly talented artist who wanted to learn about NFTs. Mm -hmm. So we put her in touch with our back end dev team. She got a face-to-face -face Zoom with Rachel Winter, the head of the Remarkable Women Collection, offered her time to teach Macy's daughter how she learned about NFTs. So it's a family. So, you know, I think Macy right away realized how genuine we were when we, we gave all the support to her daughter to enter the space. And I think she right away got that's what these communities are about, support. And, you know, Macy's a visionary and she's a creative and a pioneer. So it's natural that she'd want to get into the NFT space. And I think when she met us, she realized that She's a smart person. She, she wants to work with honest people in the space and makes me feel great to know that she wants to work with us and she sees us as a great place to enter the space with. It's um, hopefully a testament to our sincerity um, that we have people like Macy that um, are reaching out to us to work with us. Okay, my last question would be, because you are in marketing, um, what would be the best two or three tips you could give relative to marketing for people who are just now getting into the space like myself? Content, 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 content. Content, content, content. Those are the top three. You know, you got to be active on social media. You have to tweet. Put it out there. Engage. You know, it's not engagement farming for me. It's really just reaching out to my community every day. I, I love to tweet. Um, I love to get in Discord. Uh, support other projects. If you want to get support, support other projects. That's what I'm telling Macy. We're going through some art that she really enjoys, and she's buying her first NFTs, and she's going to join all these communities. And when she drops her NFT, they're going to come support her. Um, what you can't do is come in as a vacuum and just talk about your shit at every conference. Let me tell you about my project, and let me tell you about my project, and let me tell you about my project. Ask people about their projects. Support other projects. That's how the space works. Mm -hmm. So for me, marketing, it's a lot of content, and it's participating in a lot of communities that are going to reciprocate. Gotcha. Thank you.